Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermit Pack with me Full Symmetry and today we are right in front of our house. I did a little bit of work off camera and I must say it is starting to come together. At least at the front. The back, the back still just got a beautiful view of the sky. But hey, we'll do that just here and there. Maybe next episode we'll do a build episode where we'll finish this thing off. That might actually be a really great idea because otherwise I'm just going to find time in between episodes and just get on with it. And every episode I'm going to be going, oh my god guys, I did a little bit but not a lot because I keep running out of blocks. Mostly marble. Marble's quite, uh, quite difficult. Can you tell? Can you tell I run out about here? Maybe about, about there? I tried zooming in again, it's not working. But uh, yeah, I have planned that I possibly might add like a staircase. I need to like add a separate area downstairs but I don't know where about to put the staircase maybe here although we don't need a staircase oh do we have the elevator blocks if so I'll put it right in the middle of that block there on this level and we can just zoom down oh man what is that thing called is it an elevator 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 Ooh. hello you're probably not what I want does this thing work guys press shift this machine needs to be played at place at a certain level pointing towards where the moving platform will be. Moving platform? What? <laughs> okay, okay, we're getting too far ahead. Today I actually want to uh, make one of these guys because, as you will be able to tell, um, I've got just two double chests here full of junk mostly and I've got a sack of holding, uh, or no, sack of storage even, which just has the stuff I need today in it. But I want to bring all of my chests over from my base over there somewhere, which I haven't been to check today. I hope it hasn't been pranked or removed or anything. I need to bring them over here, and apparently the sack of holding can pick up a whole chest. You can literally pick up a whole chest by right-clicking on the chest with this. So, might make that, might make that, but I have to go get some more cows to do that. My cows in here have been teleporting inside again, which is a bit worrying. I think they might have actually learnt how to open doors, which is a bit strange. Saying that, I also believe I bred them, and there were three of them, but now there are two of them. Did someone come along and kill your friend? Possibly, but anyway, today's mostly going to be an adventure episode, but I want to get a few things done before that, so I'm going to go grab some materials from my base over here, because they're all over here at the moment still. Need to, need to move them all over there. It's looking pretty cool. And then we should be able to get on with the episode. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead, find some stuff to make. And uh, I want to get a sword, an obsidian pressure plate, and a bag of holding so we can move some stuff. And then we should be pretty good to go. Okay, so one of the simplest things in this pack that I do absolutely love is the fact that when you kill a cow, you get seven leather. Like, what even is that? Can we make one of these guys now? Let's, why does that happen? My toast just goes in there. Okay, now let's test this thing out. We've actually got items in here, so I'm hoping this works. Do I shift click? <gasps> what happened? What? Hello? Wait. Where does that? Oh, that's not there anymore. Oh, that's cre creepy. Uh, maybe it only works on normal chest so I shift click on it it falls on the floor and then I can remove the whole contents of the chest I mean that's cool it's a bit weird that double a double uh, chest does that but that's not bad that means I can just keep these chests for now and then hopefully remove them and uh, move them elsewhere that's pretty snazzy I also did make the obsidian pressure plate like I mentioned saying that why have I still got my apple and loads of leather did I use less than I thought it did I, I guess so, I guess so. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that in my sack of storage. I'm hoping they can go inside one another. Yep, that perfect. That means I can transport stuff. I don't need to wait for the babies to be bred anymore then. I'm going to actually put my wheat away. So uh, now I'm actually going to go ahead and make a sword because I want to go adventuring today. We want to go find a slime island. Now, I don't believe that one up there is probably any good anymore because, well... I've got a feeling that everyone would have explored it and taken all the slime from it. So we're not even going to bother trying to get up there, because look, look look, how far that is. Look out, look just, look at that, how far that is. That's so far, that's so far up in the air. So we're going to try and find another one. I believe they're probably all at the same height though, which is a bit of a shame. But first things first, we want to actually make a new sword. Now, 
I've decided that I want to make a... Let's have a look at this one. I think just a normal sword, a broadsword, I believe, with a manulian blade, a flint wide guard, and a, I believe, a bone tool rod. I've heard that those three things are pretty good together. Now, I think I have a couple of those things in my house here the guard and the thing, uh, and the tool rod, that's the word. Um, but I don't know where I left them, firstly. I think they're in here. That's an Ardite tool rod. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I've got my obsidian pickaxe still. I definitely left it in here somewhere, so we'll have to check that. If not, we'll make some more. And, um, yes, yeah, so I need to make manulium, which I believe is made out of cobalt and ardite. Problem is, right now, is that I don't think I've got those things. I've got some cobalt there. Have I got any ardite? That is, I'm not actually sure what it looks like when it's melted. Let's have a quick search in this bar. Ardite is quite bright. It's that one there. Ardite ingot. Do I have any of those? Copper ingot? No. No. Wait, I might have... Oh, wait a second. That's Ardite, isn't it? Okay, there we go. But how do I make manulium? Manulium. How do I even spell it? I don't know. There we go. Oh, it's got a Y, not, not that. Okay. So this is what I want to make. And it's probably, I think, one of the toughest things in the... Uh, in the thing. So I want to make that there. And I forget how to search how much you need to combine, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll chuck those two in the smeltery. I don't think anyone's using it yet. Okay, this is the obsidian pressure plate. So that only lets players in, not mobs, not anything like that, I believe, anyway. Uh, so there we go. We'll put, put plonk those in there. Hopefully that works. That should melt pretty quickly. And then hopefully we'll be able to make the, the sword. So I believe we will need, if I can find where these things are... One of... I don't want a large sword, I want a normal sword base cart, blade, blade cast. That's, that's what I need. Material cost two, so I only need two manulium to appear in here. And we should be pretty good to go, hopefully. And then we'll have one of these guys. Yes. Well, that definitely worked. That turned into two ingots. <gasps> I think that's exactly what we need. Right click there. Hopefully that's the right, the right cast, I believe so. That looks about right. Oh, and the server's backed up and everything. Oh, yes, I'm excited. Is this exactly what we need? I think it might be. There we go, a Manulian sword blade. So that'll go in there. We'll go get the guard and that. I believe I haven't made them. I don't remember making something of those shapes. So all I guess I'll get is the... Uh... No, I did make a guard pattern. Yeah, before before this chest got blown up by me, apologies, hermits, um, yeah, I do believe I had more patterns in there. So let me go have a quick look around my house yet again, and uh, yeah, at some point we will start moving all these chests back to base as well, and hopefully by the end of this episode, this house will no longer be there. Very sad. It's my tiny torch base, but it needs to be removed because it's, it's kind of right in the middle of just everyone's awesome bases, and it's looking a little bit shabby. Okay, all things are made. I just chucked them in here with the pattern. So you put the pattern in there, you put the material in here, tells you how many you need, and then it appears here. So there we go, there's the flint wide guard, and here is the bone tool rod. Now when I put them in here, click on that, one, two, and three. We should have a manulium broadsword. Now what does it say it does? 12 attack damage. When that does six, it's double what I have already and that is without any extra things on it because these guys have extra things so I actually put um what what did I actually put on these I don't even know it, at the end of the day I put a whole bunch of stuff on here uh, I believe one's got silk touch and the there, that one's got silk touch that one has uh, luck which is basically looting or fortune even and uh, now we need to make the Manulian broadsword even better. So I'm going to look up what all the things are in Tinkers that improve things. And I think redstone is one that need, we need ASAP because that is haste. Although I'm pretty sure this probably actually doesn't need it saying that. So we'll have to have a little bit of Google and uh, find, find out what to put on here before we head into the nether to maybe find some more uh, Ardite and Cobalt. But... I, bet, I better leave that for another day because I'm definitely going to die with my brand new sword. Not, not a good plan. Okay, last thing to be doing with the sword before we head out on our adventure. I need to chuck on, I believe, some... Oh, no, I don't want to use that. What do I want to use? Is it this? Yeah, yeah, put that in the middle there. Oh, hello. And then put quartz on it, and that should be sharpness. 
Now I don't obviously have that much, but it might make it better. Does it say the attack damage is better? 12.56. Oh, was it? Was it? It must have been a little bit less than that. It must have been. It must have been. But look, it's becoming nighttime. We get to check out how good our sword is. Let's wait for some mobs to come along and. Uh, then the only thing we need to probably upgrade is maybe our armor, but I don't know if there is much in the way of cool armor in the game. So, I don't know, I think we're pretty set. Uh, maybe diamonds in the future, or more enchanting. These aren't enchanted, are they? No, no they're not. So, uh, wait for night time, and then we'll go ham, and then check this out. Go sleep, and then we'll head to the slime islands, which I'm sure are somewhere on in the world. Who knows? I see some zombies. They've seen me as well. Here I am. I'm going to sneak up on them. And this guy's got gold armor on. Let's see how good this sword is. One, two, three hits. And we are pretty set. And he has absolutely no chance. And also, I'm, I'm leveling up this sword like a crazy person. I'm now custom to the weight of the sword. Okay, cool. That was pretty quick. I don't know if that's because of the material or the sharpness or whatever. Oh, there's a witch over there. Let's, let's go say hello to her. Let's see what she's up to. Is she up to anything exciting? Just just checking out the bees that are here. And you are dead as well. There we go. I'm go I'm just gonna stay out here till I level this up, I think. And then we should be pretty good to go. This I can I can't kill a creeper in one hit though, which is a bit sad. So maybe one day we'll get there, but I obviously need to go in the nether, get some more quartz and get some more sharpness on this thing. But I will do that another day. This is pretty good for now. Okay, okay, I'm really dead. No, dead, no, run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there was a, uh, I, mean, I was just, I just literally just grandmastered the sword. Because that's what I wanted to do. I don't know if it makes a difference or anything. And then the zombie comes along, and I'm going to try and find him. This guy, what have you got? What are you hitting me with? What is that? What sort, what kind of sword is that? I want it. Can you drop it for me, please? Don't know, but he hit me a couple times, and then I was nearly dead, so. No idea what he had, but it was, it was pretty, it was pretty pro. Right, well that's enough messing around, it's now the next day, apologies if this video is late, I'm so so sorry, I've been so busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff and things, and yeah, so what we're going to be doing is not heading to that island there, but we will be heading to, if I press the right button, there's one over here near Hypno's base, and it was just running in, which means I haven't really explored this area too much, and seeing as though we haven't really, like, if we need to get a main base, because that's currently our base right there, and obviously this is where we are right now. Uh, well, we're standing there, but that's our kind of main base at the moment. We're going to move everything over to here. I don't feel like this is as far away from people as maybe it needs to be, but I don't think I'm going to get on with the modded crazy stuff until, well, ever, maybe. I don't know. I don't, really don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I don't think I need to claim a main base yet, but down here might be a good idea to explore. So that's where I'm going to be heading. I'm going to be heading south. In fact, let's actually set ourselves a waypoint. Um, let's call it... Can I delete that, please? Slime Island. Um, there we go. And then we will head towards that bit there. And I think I've got everything I need on me. Yeah, I guess this will be fine. Got loads of netherrack to pillar up to it, and uh, we should be pretty good to go. Let's just hope the sun doesn't set before we get there, because that that could that could definitely happen. And I, I guess we've got a pretty good sword. I've put some more quartz on it since uh, since I last uh, caught up with you guys. So hopefully we should be pretty set. Let's just hopefully not fall to our death, because that that would probably be the worst thing that could happen. Yeah, or thrown off by a slime. Just thought that could happen. Well. Rip me then. <laughs> so we're getting pretty close. We are now on the coast. There it is. There's the island there. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm in hypnotized area anymore. So we should be pretty good. Because that was that's the main problem. Because if you're in an area where another hermit's claimed you can't break leaves, which is what is still happening. So I'm actually worried now this slum island is closer to his than I thought it was. So I've got a feeling. This actually might not be the best one to go to, because it might actually be in his claim. Which... I, I'll be honest, I didn't expect. But, um... Any others nearby? Not that I can see. Okay, well, uh, I guess rip that. We'll have to go... Elsewhere, maybe that one? Although this looks like, uh... The, 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 the cruise area. Whatever, that, whatever they name themselves. So... <laughs> this one all the way up there. 
Uh, I, I guess I'll meet you guys when I find another slime island. Then, this might this might take longer than 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 I realized. Also, there's a lot of bad guys somewhere. I don't know what Hypno's been getting on with, but it seems seems there are a lot of bad guys spawning in places by looking at the mini map. So maybe he's got a bad guy spawner. I have no clue. Whoa, well I don't know whose that is, I don't want to get too close, but that looks amazing! I have no idea. That looks really, really cool. I'm hoping someone else will sleep, because I don't know if I sleep, it'll work. I guess I'll give it a go, and fingers crossed. Well, that seemed to work. Perfect. On our way. Well, I've also found where I Jevin's setting up. Interesting, he's right over there, so... Pretty cool. We now know where he is. <laughs> I'll mark that on my mini map and then we will we'll know where everyone is. Well, saying that, there's a slime thing up there. Oh, that's the one that's close to that. You know what? That's only just there. Ooh, I might have a quick look at that one if it doesn't seem too far up. Yeah, that'll be closer just in case we die. Good idea. In hindsight, water might have been a good idea. At least if I fall off, there is water here to land in, possibly. So let's maybe climb up this side and then... We should be okay. Who, who knows? Oh god, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Oh, we're very, very close. We've just gone above the clouds. It's right here. I'm hoping that a slime isn't going to fall on my face. Because that will not be fun. Are we... Are we good? Oh, I, I've come up somehow where there's blocks. We were close, though. We were close. Oh! I'm on a slimy land! Slimy land above the clouds. Whoa! This is kind of cool, actually. This makes me want to set up a base on a slime island. Which sounds like a bad idea, probably, actually, saying that. But hopefully... Whoa! Before we head down, we will be able to make the slime slip. I'm stuck. There we go. Uh, we should be able to make the slime slingshot. Are these different slimes? They're just different colours. Okay. They might they might be different things. I don't even know. But I'll grab a few. I might leave some. I want to be able to make one of these trees though. Do you reckon if I cut one of these down I'll get some saplings? Possibly. What does this water do? Looks, looks very, it looks very slimy. It looks like very slimy water. I'm probably going to be just covered in this goo when I <laughs> when I leave this island. Yeah, maybe I'll chop this guy down. Let's actually let's actually do that and then see if the leaves despawn like normal. I guess they would. Oh yes, and I can get some slimy saplings. Nice. Sweet. So I'm gonna get my crafting table out. Did I bring one? I did actually. Okay, good. Whew. I was actually worried then. I actually panicked on the way because I was like, I didn't bring I didn't bring string with me, but then I found a plant that dropped string. So we were good. Um but yeah, hopefully we should be able to make one of these guys. Oh, we need more slime balls. That they should be fine. There we go. Slime slingshot. Oh, what happened there? Okay, that. <laughs> I was. Like, what happened? So I need that, those, and I need the boots also. And if I put the boots on, take those off. Put those on. Woo! Baby bouncy. I'm. I'm basically hoping that I haven't missed anything. I'm guessing you might need. Use slime boots if you value your life. Charge up, aim low, get flinging. Doesn't say that you need any slime balls. I haven't actually got any in my inventory, so that kind of helps. And I'm guessing you want to aim backwards, so we want to head probably over towards home sweet home. <laughs> and guys... Oh! Oh my god, I've left the netherrack there! No, I'm so sorry! Oh god, I'm the worst person ever. But maybe we'll be able to get... Ooh, bad eye. Bad idea, false. You're in it, but but basically but we literally we're literally home. That went better than expected. But what I'll do is I'll see if I can get up there with my slide. I don't know if I can. Saying that these are quite these are quite fast. As soon as you start running and bouncing, you pick up speed. Or is that just me? I think it's just me thinking that I pick up speed. But now I've got to get rid of these blocks. Ah, oh, silly false. You're an idiot. Let's. See if I can angle angle this properly. There's no way. There's no way that's even getting anywhere close. Well, looks like we're getting the manual way back up. At least we've got slime boots on. We should be pretty good to hopefully. Whoa! Th these are going to be a bit, bit crazy, I feel. <laughs> I feel these are going to be a bit crazy. Well, let's clear this away. I'm an idiot. Hang it.
Well, that didn't take too long to clear away the netherrack, but look, guys, look! I've emptied my house! My house is empty! It looks an absolute mess! Oh, no! I've got it all on me! I've basically packed it, packed it all up! It's all packed! Oh, I missed the tiny torch house! Tiny torch is for a tiny house. Thanks, Joe. I'm guessing that's Joe. I, that, did, I don't know. Did, did they do another video? Because we have... Oh, wait, no! We have Jassassin, and we also have... Jevon as well, yeah, so all the J all the J's. Speaking of which, Mr. Jevon is off down into a mine. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to get rid of this in the video. I'm, I'm probably going to stream on here um, in a bit, which will actually be um, when this video goes up, hopefully, if it goes up on time. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we're going to get rid of this guy. Oh, I'm so sad, but we'll be, we'll be able to move our jack-o'-lantern and our flowers over to our house. But uh, let's actually have a trip over there. I need to drop everything off anyway. This is a really, really nice way to get to my house. Um, it's actually really, really helpful. Look at this. <laughs> I'm basically out my front door. So me, me, me complaining that this is actually really far away, uh, it's not anymore. It's not. The only thing I think uh, that might be a problem is that I can't probably... Um, put any enchantments on the slime boots? I'm, I'm guessing that would be the case, but yeah, I've started sorting out chests here. That's a junk chest, that's a wood chest, that's a block chest, this is a, uh, a good stuff chest, I don't know what to say. Um, and then I think in here I'll put the machines and stuff like that for now, because they will have to be placed back down again. We, we actually can actually put a bed down in here for once, which is quite nice, because I've been using a sleeping bag in my house. But I think either next episode or during the live stream I'll, I'll work on this a little bit more. I think I'll probably work on removing the floor, so removing that with my excavator, bring it down to a, a low level, and working on that as well as the rest of the house. I think, yeah, I really need to collect a lot more oak and a lot more marble to actually finish this place off, because it, it takes a long while, actually. It took a lot more marble than I than I realised. Like This only looks like maybe like three, four stacks of marble. No, it's not. It's not, it's not three, four stacks of marble. It's... Probably a lot more actually saying that. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the house. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, maybe next episode we'll do a bit more of buildy slash explore more mod kind of thing. I don't really know. I'm kind of thinking about going adventure one episode and then doing something uh, different in the next episode. But yeah, we've got two, two, two lanterns at the moment, two pumpkins. This guy's apparently dangerous. He can turn into a blaze, which, which scared me a little bit. Good thing I didn't have any iron bars, I believe that's how I make him. Actually, wait, saying that, does it tell me, does it, does it, it doesn't say, does it? Like, if I do anything with this guy, like, it doesn't actually tell me that it could actually turn into something bad, so I was lucky with that one. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with how everything's turning out. I'm so excited. This, this slime thing is going to be the best thing ever. Do you reckon we can go on top of the house like this? Whoa! Well, maybe not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Wee! <laughs> In the drink. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.